Hi Bohemians, uh, Noel Sullivan here, the new Galileo in London's We Will Rock You. Uh, we've asked you on Facebook and Twitter to send me in some questions. So I've got a stack of them here and I'm going to crack on and answer your questions. So the first one's from Rhiannon Granger. She says, which song in the show would you say is hardest to sing? Um, for me personally, uh, Under Pressure is the hardest. Um, I mean, fortunately, I've got Scaramouche to sing it with, but it, the, the range in it is incredible. And um, and obviously, jumping around on hospital gurneys whilst trying to hit those big notes um, is a tough one. So I would say Under Pressure. Next one, we've got Mark Wilkinson. He says, did you ever imagine being on the West End stage at the start of your days in Hearsay? Uh, that's a good question, Mark. Uh, actually, before I got into Hearsay, um, I wanted to be in musical theatre, so I'd always been working towards that. Um, so when the band finished, my natural thing was to go back and focus on musical theatre. So um, it was always an ambition of mine, and, and fortunately I've finally made it to, to the lead in one of the best West End shows there is. If you could sing with any rock band, past or present, which would you choose and what would you sing? That's from Sue Power. That's a really good question. Um, if I could sing with any rock band, Oh, well, maybe I would sing with Queen, like the whole lineup of Queen. That would be cool. And I would sing We Are the Champions because I think it's the best rock song of all time. My next question is from Michelle Claire Mellon. She says, uh, What character in the show do you feel you most resemble personality wise? Um, for me, I think to, I probably resemble Galileo the most, but not at the beginning of the show or the end of the show, somewhere in the middle where he's kind of just a little bit normal. He's not complete weirdo and he's not complete rock god, so yeah, I would say that. And next question is from Angela Gracie. She says, who is the coolest, Galileo from We Will Rock You or Danny from Greece? Which is a really tough one. Um, I, think, I think Danny from Greece is cooler um, just because he is cool always he doesn't go on a journey to become cool he is just cool from start to finish so i'm gonna say danny which won't go down very well in, under these roofs let me tell you <laughs> um next up lisa mctaggart she says what is the naughtiest thing you've done during any show that you weren't meant to do uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm allowed to say, but um, my, probably my naughtiest thing, my worst habit is that I have the tendency to what we call in theatre corpse, which is to laugh when you're not supposed to laugh. Um, and on the tour I actually won a trophy uh, in the awards um, that was uh, the, the person most likely to corpse. So sometimes in serious scenes when I'm not supposed to, I'm, I might smirk sometimes. Uh, the next question is from Stuart Pugh. He says, what part of your personality will you bring to the role that adds a uniqueness to the character? Um, well, Stuart, I kind of just have to put on parts of my personality that aren't even there, really. Um, that's that's how you have to kind of pretend to be someone that you're not. That's the whole point of the role. But I, I mean, I suppose I bring, um, I bring my own interpretation of the character and hopefully that will make it unique enough. If you could have any of Freddie Mercury's costumes from any Queen show or video, which would it be? That's Charlie Shirley Clark. Um, oh Charlie, I suppose you'd, I, I would want that yellow jacket from Wembley um, that he wore. I think it was for the live, uh, the Live Aid performance. It's just, it's cool. I mean, I probably wouldn't wear it out, but just to have it in like a frame or something, that'd be awesome. Um, next one. Do you feel a connection between your personality? to this character and does rock and roll make you feel alive and that's from Ronnie Mercury Rosenberg well Ronnie uh, I, I don't feel much like Galileo to be fair I, I think we're um, I, I didn't he, he kind of is a kid who, uh, who who goes against the grain with stuff and I, I was always kind of into pop music and stuff I was, I was into all the things that Galileo wasn't really into I was never really a rocker um, but for, to answer the question does rock and roll make you feel alive it does yeah because we have we, we have an amazing rock band here. We get to play to, you know, two and a half thousand people every night and, um, and there is really nothing like it. And the final question uh, from Joanne Lettremy is, do you like the changes in the script from the tour to the West End? And do you ever say any of the tour script that you got so used to? That's a really good question. Um, I do have to really still focus. I'm three weeks into the tour. Uh, <laughs> I'm three weeks into the West End now and I still have to think about the changes.